What is up, gamers? Before I get into today's video, I just want to thank everybody for uh, the outlandish support that I received. Um, honestly, I've been I've been busy with personal life stuff. My grandma passed away, and just trying to take some time for myself to do that. And my work, I, so this is not my full time job. I just do this as a hobby. Um, my my work has been just super busy. So um, all of that is to say. I posted a couple of videos for my immediate friends and family on how what they could do on a Steam Deck and got thousands of people to watch it. Um, I, I didn't really know how to respond. <laughs> I've done YouTube videos for a few years now, but mostly to small and insular communities like the Gwent community. So uh, this was just a little, a little abrupt for me. And I just want to say I really appreciate everyone's support um, and, and people supporting each other on the comment threads. Honestly, I'm not the most technical person you'll ever meet. And that that's partly why I wanted to start this channel was just to explain that, I, look, I'm, one of, I'm one, of, one of you guys, just somebody who has an interest in tech, who likes watching YouTube videos about it and wanted to make a few videos about how and what you can do um, with your own hardware, or with things that you buy. And the Steam Deck obviously has been a huge focus for a lot of people. Uh, I am now, I think, almost three months into having mine and i absolutely love it um i just recently have been practicing a new bedtime routine called stardew valley i strongly suggest this if you're somebody who has a lot of anxiety or is stressed about work uh stardew valley on night mode settings uh turn your brightness all the way down turn your sound on super low to just hear that nice nice calming music just go farm for a little bit boom you'll be out you'll be out sleeping the best sleep you've had in weeks uh within 30 minutes uh it's, it's, it's awesome uh, i've been playing overcooked 2 with my spouse so that's kind of what's up on 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 here but the biggest thing that i wanted to cover today was um kind of reprising an older video that i had with several comments from from you folks on star citizen a lot of people saying oh these frame tames are unplayable on windows side and that was true be honest um the window side was like oh cool i did this cool thing but it's not not actually something that i can play star citizen on linux however requires significantly more finessing i will link a video in the comments below that i found most helpful you could also use the load loader uh, according to some people on reddit i i i found that to be uh very difficult and have several downsides so i went with just a uh, Proton 7-15 Star Citizen specialty update. And I expect, um, for those of you who are exceedingly technical and great uh, coders, that this is a an option that might exist for other games. I think getting around some anti-cheat software might be a little bit difficult. Um, thinking of Destiny, uh, the most watched video I've had on the channel, but uh, hopefully Bungie listens to the massive interest there is for playing a game that is actually really well optimized for Steam Deck on the Steam Deck. So, um, but let's hop into this just to walk you through how quickly and easily this works. I'm gonna zoom in on the shot a little here, being my own cameraman. That's uh, not gonna be the greatest camera work you've ever seen, but I'm trying. <laughs> so you just, uh, this works out of the Steam launcher. I can also launch it from the desktop mode, but this works actually really well for me. Just press play and it's going to go ahead and boot. As with most of my videos, uh, I try to do raw uncut videos just so you get a real and accurate sense of how much time things take. Uh, so you can hear the sound here. Um, a couple of things that you will want to do, by the way, and but are also very helpful that you can do on the Steam side is controller settings. So you can actually come in and set your controller settings on the Steam Deck uh, what you can't do on the Windows side. And in fact, on the Windows side, you can never, you can't get the back four buttons because they don't exist on the Steam controllers. The fix that we had to make those work uh, just didn't work. So candidly, uh, this is my Windows chip. I don't even keep it in the Steam Deck anymore because it annoys me when it, that I have to force the boot screen because sometimes it just auto boots to Windows and it drives me nuts. So um, it's just something I keep on the side. Honestly, I bring it to work in case I forget my laptop. And I can just plug in my Steam Deck and do Outlook uh, on the on the online browser. So, um, so that's that's basically why I keep my Windows. Um, but
But for everything else, you can set all the buttons. Uh, I have these set to specific, uh, the back button set to specific letters just so I have very specific input for Star Citizen. Uh, but I have not taken the time to do a controller mapping. That's what I plan to do this next week or two, uh, spending a lot of time figuring out the exact buttons and how uh, we can make this game actually work well. I've watched several videos from people using Xbox, Xbox Elite controllers, and I do feel like it's possible. Um, but a couple of things on the game itself. We're going to come in here and just launch the game. I love how you always have, have to do like the pre-alpha release signatures. Sometimes it takes a second to load, and other times... Uh, it doesn't do a great job of switching. There it goes. Uh, you'll notice that there are two windows, so you just want to make sure that's on the Star Citizen window. It does take a minute to load. One great thing about having this on the Linux side is you can get the Steam FPS counter, and it is fairly accurate in my experience, so um, it's going to give you the frame times that you have in game, and you can make and tweak your settings accordingly. Um, I have been able to push 30 FPS with my current settings. I'll walk you through what those are. Uh, it's usually 20 to 30, so it is a little chunky. Uh, I'll show you one other change that I personally have opted against, but it's something that you could do. Um, this game is just not well optimized, uh, for especially for a small, uh, a small handheld like this, but it is something that, uh, you know, we can play it. It is, it is actually an option out there. So we come to options, and this is going to be a little hard to see, but uh, I you do need to set your controller to be mouse trackpad, not um, like not gyros or whatever. You need to be able to use the mouse for this, in my very strong opinion. Um, and then I also have the left one set to a scroll wheel. In order to get it to go as a scroll wheel, I have it as rotated, and I find that this works really well. So you can just rotate to the left, rotate to the right, and that's going to allow you to scroll it. Um, I will also make another video today on how you can do that just on the desktop. Um, so I, I feel fairly confident using the desktop just on the Steam Deck now. It is still easier with mouse and keyboard, but I don't need that. Okay, this is like way too small. It's going to be super difficult for you guys to see. So I'm just going to walk through what all the settings are. Um, basically, the resolution I currently have set is 960 by 600. I have it set to full screen, quality low, scattered object distance low, terrain tessellation distance low, planetary, planet volumetric clouds definitely to off. That's one of the hardest hits that you can do to your, to your system generally in Star Citizen. Um, field of view, I, 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 I've read from a lot of people that that actually doesn't really matter all that much for graphic Im impact, but I do have it set to 80. Um, I do have motion blur set to camera and object motion blur. Uh, I've currently turned off VSync, but I didn't notice a major film hit, uh, uh, FPS hit from that. So you could do it with whatever kind of resist tearing for you. Um, and then film grain is set to yes, just because I like how that looks. Other people hate that. So um, you also can get a session information QR code, but I don't actually know how to scan that. So if you guys know in the comments down below, please let me know. Um, but we'll just uh, we'll just go in here. And the, one of the best ways I find to test this is just to jump in Arena Commander. You'll also notice the first time you get in, you definitely need to tweak those settings or it will take you an eternity to load screens. <laughs> like just to go between that, that main screen and this screen will take you a hot minute. Uh, but once you've made these changes, you'll notice that you can select things inside the screens relatively quickly. Um, I'm still tweaking some of the settings, but I have set the top buttons to roll. So that was one big improvement for me in just being able to fly around. And you can see in the top, that might be a little small for you guys, but we're bouncing now between 20 and 30 FPS. It dropped down to five when it first started, but if you're tracking FPS and Star Citizen, that's pretty normal. Uh, you can see as I uh, boost and getting 28, to 30 if, if this is i would not recommend this as your first star citizen experience there is a lot of text in star citizen and so being able to capture that text is just really difficult uh, i did have to set some of the buttons that were claimed for the trackpad so this is start button over here 
some of the buttons that were claimed as part of the modifier. So allegedly it should be in key bindings. And you come down to uh, controller. When you drop down the resolution, the text will be more difficult to read. So if you're just trying to get a sense for all the menu stuff, um, I would recommend just pumping that back up to uh, 1200 by 800. I think that that will give you the, the actual display of the Steam Deck and you, and you can read a lot of the menu options. But if you are just going to be doing some light bounty hunting, um, maybe some cargo runs, uh, just moving your ship from one station to another to set up for, for a gameplay, or like I'm planning to do, do a little bit of mining, uh, and I'll be setting up most of my stuff when mining, um, then that's something you can totally do. But boom, we got our first kill. Um, you also notice, uh, it might be difficult to see, but your self status is very rough. It's, it just, uh, will delete, will delete your, delete your, uh, your wings sometimes we're getting hit here uh, and we did take a little bit of drop in frames there so uh, this still needs just a little bit of tweaking but i think we're basically we're basically at a usable level here or at least like i can engage in ship to ship combat and i just need to tweak some of the sensitivity settings uh, I will say you definitely want gimbaled weapons. <laughs> I don't know how you could ever do this without gimbaled weapons. Um, and I have had an issue with setting my chaff, so I still need to set that. So uh, I got killed by a missile, which is like the worst way to die. But look, it's definitely something you can do. You can play it. And I think especially, like I said, for the use case of mining, this is something... That's very, very doable. Mining, you, you know, you can wait a second for the frames to catch up uh, for everything except for when you are setting the laser. But I plan to just use this scroll like you would a mouse scroll wheel. Um, or I might try to set it to modifier uh, and one of the joysticks. So, um, oh, whoops, I exited the game there. So, uh, but uh, we'll, 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 I'm going to tweak settings. I'll figure out controls. I'm going to fully optimize graphics. Uh, I might try to do some other stuff on the back end. Um, I'm also trying to find out if there's a, a good way to do FSR for this. Uh, I know it's not a Vulcan optimized title, so that limits some of the options, but it is something that I'm going to keep looking into. If you have any knowledge or information about that, please let me know in the comments. Uh, and as always, I'm going to share everything that I read or saw just to give credit to where credit's due to all the people who helped get me to this space. Uh, but not a lot of info on what settings work well on Star Citizen. So I'll, I'll keep diving into that. I, I do feel like this is a strong possibility um, for people who like playing Star Citizen, especially casually, to just move some stuff around. You know, oh crap, I'm, I, I just need to, um, to log in, do something with my guild, um, make sure that I drop off my ship at Timmy's, you know, something like that. It's super easy things to do. I, I don't, like this isn't where I'd want to spend hours playing. If you saw my, Quick uh, setup short, you can see that I've invested quite a bit of money in having a good time in Star Citizen. So uh, for me, you know, I'd much rather sit in front of my massive 42 inch OLED monitor, my uh, my uh, my Evos and my Toby Eye Tracker to have a much more immersive experience. But this is something I can do that I can play. And I think that this also will make Star Citizen, uh, especially as they work through optimizing some of their software uh, in their in their next sprint. Uh, this is going to make it much more accessible to the people. You're going to be able to just play with your friends a little bit more easily. They can bring over their Steam Deck and hop in the turret at your house while you party on your joysticks, and you guys can swap off to get that multiplayer experience. But this is definitely going to work for for uh, for turret maneuvering. So, but let me know what you guys all think in the comments down below. Uh, do you think that this is just totally unplayable at 30 frames per second? That those frame time dips are just uh this is make the game just wholly uh outside the realm of possibility right now um are you just waiting on steam deck 2 or because all you play is star citizen and you just need that next gen ryzen processor to uh to get you the the performance that is it will at least get you by let me know in the comments down below until next time though good luck out there have some fun keep on gaming bye for now